Hey guys and welcome to this video. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I'm going to be sharing with you all of my recent purchases. Well, not all of them because I was in the mood for shopping and a lot of my purchases are still... I'm waiting for them to arrive. But usually in Europe, as we get closer to the month of August and in the month of August, everything falls asleep. So even when I order with fast shipping, with express priority delivery, whatever you want to call it, I may wait for my orders for a week, a couple of weeks for them to arrive. So I decided that I'm going to share with you all of the products that I have now. I'm going to give you also short reviews. This is actually going to be more useful than just showing you like too many products and not being able to say a few words about each of the products. So I'm also going to share with you mini reviews. I also have two products that were sent to me in PR. I'm quite excited for those. As a lot of you know, I don't accept PR often. I actually rarely accept PR, but for these products I was really excited. So let's go ahead and get started. If you're new here, welcome. I love chatting with you about all things beauty. And if you love beauty talks, please be sure to join, subscribe and leave me a comment. If you're returning, welcome back, dear friends. So first of all, I want to start with um, one of the products that were sent to me in PR. And this is because it's a fashion product. Everything else is going to be beauty in this video. This is actually a wonderful handbag from Teddy Blake. They were so kind to send me this handbag. I don't know if you know, but I adore Teddy Blake's handbags. I'm a huge fan and I usually, as I mentioned, I don't accept PR often. I actually rarely accept PR, but when they send me an email asking me if I wanted to choose anything from their website, I was like so incredibly happy. This is Teddy Blake New York. If you haven't heard about the brand, they are like they are one of my favorite uh, brands for handbags. I love them just as much as I love my designer handbags. So this one is absolutely stunning. I think that some of you who have been following me have already seen this handbag. This is from Teddy Blake and it's been with me for probably five years or, or so. This is such a well-traveled handbag. It went all around Europe during all of the seasons and it's still as new. So that's one of the reasons why I love Teddy Blake because their prices are more affordable compared to designer handbags, but the quality is exactly the same as designer handbags. And these handbags are made in Italy. Yay! I couldn't be happier about them. So the handbag that I decided to choose this time is called Ava. I'm going to have a link in the description box to Teddy Blake's website and also to the handbag. This is not an affiliate link. I truly, truly love the design. Uh, it's actually quite new, guys. I haven't even started wearing it, but this one is going to be so gorgeous for all seasons, especially for the fall and winter seasons. I decided to choose the color dark green. Now, the quality of these handbags is truly amazing. It's stunning. Um, the whole stitching is so detailed, so perfect, so beautiful. They are just like my designer handbags. It's just for the fraction of the price. And look at the little legs here. I want to give you some close-ups. I really like the modern design of this handbag. There are a lot of colors. My favorite one was definitely the dark green. I was so, so happy that they were able actually to secure the dark green color for me because I know that their designs sell out very fast. For example, you can't find this design anymore on their website. So if you like something, make sure to get your hands on it because they sell out the designs quite quickly. So I'm still about to start wearing the handbag. It has also a long handle here. I absolutely adore the closure of the handbag as well. It is the perfect size for me. I decided to choose this one because actually I think that this one is going to be very easy to be used every single day and I can go from day to night with this handbag. Since this is a Teddy Blake handbag, I am absolutely sure. Well, it's made in Italy from start to finish, so you can be sure that this handbag is going to last for many, many years. Just like my previous one, I don't know. This one is I'm trying to think, but probably it's five years old. But once again, like you have no idea how much this bag has traveled. This is one of the most well-traveled handbags and I was 
I didn't expect it to last and to be in such a perfect condition after so much traveling with me. And let's hope that this handbag from Teddy Blake, New York, is going to travel just as much with me. We are going to go around Europe, why not in the US as well. I really want to go to Vegas, guys. Uh, it's on my wish list. But yes, I could not recommend Teddy Blake handbags some um, more. I couldn't recommend them more. If you're looking for a high quality handbag that has the same quality as designer handbags, but for a fraction of the price, made in Italy, highest quality, look no further. I think that you're going to be really, really happy with their handbags. I'm going to show you some of the designs that they currently have, but once again, their designs usually sell out quite quickly. It also comes with a dust bag, so a very special thank you to Teddy Blake for letting me choose what I want from their website. A huge thank you. I'm so happy to add this to my handbag collection. Now, moving on to beauty, I've already unboxed everything and I actually tried this product. I purchased two of the new Clay Depot highlighters. So these are new formulation from Clay Depot and I believe that now they have two different um, varieties of highlighters. So the ones that are with a um, two digit number are more subtle in terms of shine and the ones that are with three digits so 201 202 and 203 are with more intense shine i'm wearing one of the highlighters today i decided to pick 201 and 202 i want to add more to my collection so this is the full compact and this is the refill how the refill comes i'm going to make sure to add um, a little swatch here so that you can see the two colors. Both of them work perfect on my skin. I'm definitely going to have a full video on the highlighters. And I finally tried one of the cream blushes of Clé de Peau. A lot of you have been um, recommending those blushes, I believe for the past couple of years. A lot of you have been raving about these blushes and I was always, they were always on my wish list, and this time I decided, okay, I'm going to go ahead and purchase one of them. I have it on my cheeks today right here, and I have a little bit of bronzer also. But this one, the one that I purchased is number four. So I just want to show you, this is such an incredibly beautiful color. I want to swatch it, ignore the nails. Uh, it's almost like a dusty, pinkish, rosy color. It's one of the most beautiful blush colors that I have in my collection. You were right. Thank you so much for the recommendation. These are gorgeous. I definitely want to buy more colors. Um, what was the color that I wanted? I believe that it was number three that I wanted or number two. It was a, like a coral shade, the one that I want to buy. And then I was able to buy from my favorite face masks from 111 Skin. I was able to buy one mask and one box because I had a discount and somehow it just fit in a way that I got the free shipping. So I love this mask. I just wanted to show you. You can only buy one if you haven't tried them, but this one is um, really a good one. And I finally was able to try actually the under eye mask, the same of 111 Skin, the rose gold eye mask, and I love them. I purchased a full box of those and they should be arriving sometime next week. I hope so. Then moving on to another favorite brand, and this is Guerlain. Guerlain recently came up with the Butterfly Collection, and this was created by one of my favorite makeup artists, Violette. Um, she has a YouTube channel. I have been following her for years, and I was so happy to see her actually be appointed as the creative and makeup director for Guerlain. I knew that she was going to create amazing collections for Guerlain, and I purchased five of the eyeshadow palettes. There are six eyeshadow palettes in total in the collection. If you want to see swatches of these palettes in natural light, I'm going to link to a video where I swatch all of them in natural light. Uh, now, initially I was not able to buy the Imperial Moon, which was the one that was my favorite, but finally I was able to get it. So I completed my collection. The only one that I don't have right now is the blue one, but I just know that I know myself, I know that this is probably the most beautiful one. This is probably the star of the whole collection. However, I know myself, I know that I don't like to wear blue eyeshadow. But for those of you who have brown, hazel eyes, I think that blue eyeshadow is going to look beautiful. It's not that I can't wear it, but I just know that all the blue eyeshadows that I ever buy, they just stay unused and that's why I just am going to skip. Now, I love the formulation of the eyeshadows. It's quite unique. You have different finishes in each palette. You have a more shimmery shade. You have 
gorgeous luminous matte colors. Um, I think that in all palettes that I have, you don't actually have a flat matte color. The powders are firmly pressed. Now, at the time when I'm filming this video, I just read a comment on YouTube of um, one of you asking me how they compare to the Tom Ford palette. It's a completely different formula. The Tom Ford palettes, the wet and dry ones, um, they are more creamy. They definitely have more pigment, more creamy and more... Um, how should I call it? They, they have more like kind of a full coverage. These don't have as full coverage. They feel much lighter on the eyelids. When applied on the eyelids, it just feels like you're applying nothing on the eyelids. It just feels like you don't have anything on the eyelids. It's a very, very nice formula. It's a very nice texture. And usually the Tom Ford um, eyeshadows, I love them. It's definitely one of the best formulations out there. Uh, but the, they just cannot be compared. I can't compare this um, eyeshadow formula to anything that I have. Probably Charlotte Tilbury used to have um, very quads with firmly pressed powder. Similar, but not the same, definitely not the same. I prefer this one to the firmly pressed powder formula of Charlotte Tilbury Squads. Uh, it's just a very, very beautiful. Now, once again, I'm a huge fan of Violet. I think that she knows her job very well. I think that she definitely knows how to do makeup. Um, but, like, I'm not biased here. I think that she did an amazing job with these, the formulation. Spectacular, beautiful creation. I also love the design of the palettes. It's very, very elegant. Next, I got the mascara and I could not be more impressed with the mascara. It holds the curl. It's beautiful. And it, so at the time when I'm filming this video, I'm pro I've probably used this mascara for a week and I already love it. I loved it from the first application. Now, one thing that is very interesting. This is Normally, this is a waterproof mascara. I never wear waterproof mascaras, but I had hope in Violet that she's going to create something that is going to be good. So the reason why I don't wear waterproof mascara is because my eyes are incredibly sensitive and usually waterproof mascaras, they last well, but they irritate my eyes and they are hard to remove. This one is amazing. Because it doesn't smudge. It stays all day. It holds the curl in my, of my lashes. It separates my, separates my lashes beautifully. It is buildable. It gives me a very sophisticated look with one layer, but I can build up um, the mascara. I can definitely get a more dramatic look by adding another layer. And I've tried actually adding three layers of so this mascara. still wears beautifully, still doesn't make my lashes clumpy, which is something that I would give this mascara 10 out of 10. This is definitely going to be one of the mascaras that I will repurchase. And one something that's really interesting is that I can remove it very quickly, not as your usual waterproof mascara where you really have to, you know, let the micellar water for a little while wait and then, you know, put some effort into removing the mascara. This one is removed very easily. I use Bioderma. And then I purchased one of the lipsticks. I skipped the lipstick cases because I want to see them in store, but I purchased one of the lipsticks. It's a completely new formula. This is a velvet metallic lipstick. I love the formulation. It's very extraordinary. It looks like a velvet lipstick, but with a little bit of a metallic sheen. And this metallic sheen is visible on the lips. The one that I have is Majestic Rose. I definitely want to get one more color. I prefer to use this lipstick on top of a lip balm because still it has the velvety feel. And I have, um, in general, I have very dry, sensitive lips. So I always moisturize my lips just a little bit before applying it, but it just, it's a very new, very, very good new formula. I really like it. And I hope they're going to do actually more colors. And now speaking of moisturized lips, I actually just saw that I have here, I have them everywhere, um, a Mille Cordon lip balm. I really like those. So this is the second product um, in this haul that you're going to see that was sent to me in PR. Very special thank you to Emil Cordon New York. I am really, really happy with this lip balms. They are very moisturizing. They don't feel sticky. They are the perfect lip balms and the, the scents 
are so yummy. The scents are very light, very gentle. They just add to the experience. They are very yummy and I like to use them also on the cuticles of my nails at night. I like to use them as a lip mask in the evening and then I like to apply a little bit in the morning as well. It's just a very nice, very luxurious experience. I think that if you're looking for a good lip balm, these are definitely worth checking out. I really like them. Next, I have a Chanel repurchase, and this lipstick is one of my favorite nudes from Chanel. I just wanted to have it again and wear it again. So this is one of the Rouge Allure Lac. This is one of the shiny lipsticks. Um, it's not too shiny, actually, and this is number 62 still. So I used to have this color in the past. I really like it because it's a very easy, everyday color. So this is the color. And this is the repurchase. Next, we are moving on to... I have to see what we have. Okay, another Chanel. I purchased the Coral Water Fresh Blush because I loved the one that I purchased and I decided that I'm just going to need a little bit more intense um, coral color for the late summer days. I mean, for August, probably I'm going to get a little bit more color. Next, moving on to a new concealer that I purchased. This one was a real investment. Probably this is the most expensive concealer that I have ever purchased in my entire life. This is the Sisley concealer, the iconic Sisley concealer. And a lot of you, um, I already showed you this concealer in a couple of my videos. And I asked you to leave me a comment and let me know if you've tried it because it's really, really expensive. And when you give me feedback, it really helps me to give you better reviews and really helps me to decide if a product is really good because makeup products don't work for everyone. I always like to take advantage of the fact that we are a bigger community here. Uh, a lot of you test products just like I do and I love when you leave me a comment and it turned out that this is your favorite concealer. I did not get a single negative review from you. On this concealer, I'm wearing the shade one. Little goes a long way with this concealer. I would say that um, probably um, if you don't have severe dark circles, you're probably good to go. But if you are, um, if you have some dark circles or if you don't sleep well, it's a real game changer. For me personally, it's a real game changer. And I learned that for a lot of you, it has been a game changer. Now, a lot of you mentioned that it's hard to use up this tube. I believe you because I use such a small amount of product and I suppose that I can't use it more than one year. It's now good to use concealers and foundations for more than one year, which reminds me that I repurchased one of my favorite shades of the Westman Atelier blushes. This one is Petal and I should probably get Minette. Once I purchased Petal, I knew I remembered that I actually wanted Minette as well. There is also a new shade of Westman Atelier blush now, which is Mimi. So this is Petal. Petal, I think, is um, it's like a dusty rose color. It's very easy to use. I like to use it also on my lips and on my cheeks. So this is like a two-in-one product. However, I didn't use up my previous one. You have a lot of product here. And... Um, this is one that I decided to repurchase because I really like this kind of a dusty rose color. You can apply it on the go, it blends beautifully in the skin. I really like the effect on the skin and I can apply it on the cheeks and on the lips as well. This is one of the colors that works beautifully both on the cheeks and on the lips. That's why I decided to repurchase it. I'm quite happy with this blush from Westman Atelier and let me know if you want me to do an overview, a brand overview, sharing with you my thoughts on Westman Atelier as a brand and sharing with you my favorites and what's worth purchasing. Let me know if you want this kind of video because I had requests in the past to talk about Westman Atelier, but I'm not sure if you're still interested, so let me know in the comments. Then I just tried a new brand, and this is Kiara Weiss. I tried this brand for the first time, and I'm thinking to myself, why haven't I found this brand earlier? Their products are absolutely stunning. I definitely want more. So I have two cream eyeshadows along with... They actually sell the, the product and the case, so everything is refillable. So I'm going to show you in a dedicated video because I just want to demonstrate you everything on my face. These are absolutely stunning. So what's this? No, this is the cream eyeshadow actually. These are the cream eyeshadows. I'm still new to, to this brand, but I really, really like the whole concept of the brand. So I purchased two eyeshadows. 
They are very easy to wear colors. I definitely like now look at this. I definitely like this packaging a little bit more. This one is a little bit more expensive. And initially when I was looking on their website, I preferred the red packaging and I couldn't understand well why the red packaging is much cheaper compared to this one. Well, this one feels definitely more luxurious. This one is good. This is cute. This is really luxurious and I love it. So anyways, um, I want to show you the two colors that I just purchased. I tried them and I adore them. So let me go ahead and actually probably going to swatch them here. So these are the two colors that I have. I'm definitely going to show you better swatches in my dedicated video because I want to show you the product up close in natural light. Well, look how tanned my arms are. I need to use more sunscreen on the arms. Um, anyways, now I also purchased two blushes, actually three blushes. Yeah, I purchased also three blushes. One of them I've fallen in love with all three. Now this one is Reverence. It's such a gorgeous, gorgeous color. Then we also have a new shade. This one is blushing and it's, and it's um, a very beautiful coral shade with a little bit of gold. I wouldn't say shimmer, but kind of a sheen. It just reminds me, it's not the same, it's not even close, but it reminds me of my favorite reflex from Chanel. These are all cream blushes and they blend like a dream. And then the other one that I have, I don't know why I missed actually to buy um, packaging for this, but this one is Embrace. I think that it's going to be beautiful for the spring summer season. Let me know if you've tried Care Wise. What are the products that I should try next? And apart from the blushes and the cream eyeshadows, what are their products? Products, the ones that are really beautiful and that the ones that I should try? Because I really want to dive deeper into this brand. I it's new to me, but I love the concept. I love the quality of the product. I love the whole work um, behind. The brand. I love the whole concept of the brand. So I think that was all for today's video. I'm not really sure. I'm Every time when I film a whole video, when I start to edit it, I find a bunch of other products that I missed and that I forgot to show you, but I'm going to try and include them in the next haul because as I mentioned in the beginning, I have a lot of packages that are still I'm waiting for them to arrive. So that was all for today's video. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much for spending time with me. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoy spending time with you. And I hope to see you in my next video. Take care. Bye.